now from South Seminole Middle School in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. Good morning, Hurricanes. Happy Tuesday. I'm Haley. And I'm Ryan. It's October 24th, 2017. Please stand for the pleasure of Mr. Motley. Hi, I'm Mr. Motley, the behavior interventionist here at South Seminole. You can find me in the Synergy Room. Please stand for the pledge. Check in with Avery for the weather update. Good morning, Avery. Good morning, guys. It looks like it's going to be partly cloudy with a small chance of rain over here in central Florida. We have a high up to 83 degrees. That's all for now. Have a great Tuesday. Back to you guys. Thanks, Avery. Today is the second day of Red Ribbon Week. Students will be able to be exempt from the uniform rules during these days if you choose to participate. Today is Team Up Against Drugs, where you're allowed to work to dress as a twin with one of your friends. Tomorrow is Sock It to Drugs Day, where you can put on your crazy socks. Thursday the 26th is Follow Your Dreams Day, where you can dress as your dream career. And also, and on the Friday the 27th, we want everyone to wear red. Remember, if you do not participate, you must wear the regular uniform for that day. Another reminder that tomorrow, on, or Win Win Wednesday, you can turn in your storm box at the cafeteria for a chance to win a prize. And now for our teacher spotlight with a story from Mr. Miles' sixth period students, Allie, Lily, Chloe, Noah, and Kaylee. Today we are talking with the girls basketball coach, Miss Olivy, who has been coaching for two years. Um, I think it's very exciting. We have a lot of fun. It's a learning experience. Um, we try to do our best to mentor the girls and, uh, and help them have a positive outlook on life, a positive attitude. Miss Ellery loves basketball. She played in high school in, in the military. The other coach on the team is Miss Downey. She helps the other girls and mentors them as their coach. We asked her, what makes you want to help Miss Downey be a basketball coach? I played basketball in high school and I played basketball in the military. Um, I love Coach Downey. She's an awesome person. She needed some help, so I just decided to go out and help her with the girls and, and help mentor and um, just give them a different type of experience. They did a lot of team building activities and they wanted to encourage the girls as they did these team building activities because they want to have a successful season. They practice five days a week for about two hours and their games last about an hour to an hour and a half. We asked her what was what was last year's team like? It was a lot of fun. We did a lot of things together. Um, one of our favorite activities is we have a team building days, which we come in on Saturdays at least once a month. And we just do fun things with them and bring them together so that not only are they a basketball team, by the time the end of the season comes, we're looked at more as a family, as a sister unit, and they rely and depend on one another. She prepares the girls for by gaining their strength and making sure the team knows how to work as a team. We do a lot of running and push-ups. Uh, we do a lot of skills development drills, but um, most importantly, we understand that regardless of what you teach them, if there's no chemistry and they don't play as a team because basketball is a team sport, not an individual sport, then everything you teach them will go to the wayside. This is what Ms. Ellerby does with her team, and we hope she has a great season. Reporting from the third floor of Building 3, Kaylee and Chloe, South Seminole News. Thanks. Look for more teacher spotlights in the near future right here on SSN. Teachers, if you are still in need of a recycle box, the Lighthouse students can get one out to you. Please contact Ms. Roscoe, and she will provide one for you and your classroom to use. The Lighthouse students pick up recycling items during first period, so please leave them outside your classroom during that time. On November 14th, SSMS will have the Seminole County Teach in 2017. Attention parents, community members, and friends. We are looking for volunteers to teach at least one class in this community-wide effort. The Teach is a perfect opportunity for parents and business leaders to talk to students about the community around them. Please talk to Ms. Bafoos if you have any questions or potential guest speaker ideas. 
We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after this. Seventy percent of homeless veterans suffer through substance abuse, while fifty percent suffer through mental illness such as PTSD. Nearly ten million veterans are over the age of sixty-five, and twelve percent of them make up the homeless population. There are almost forty thousand homeless veterans in the USA. We would like to raise awareness and acquire blankets or money to those in need. Please turn in by the twenty-fifth to Miss Ellerby in room two twenty-four A. Thank you. Welcome back. We just ran a commercial for a very special cause that we want to repeat for you again. Miss Ellerby is collecting spare blankets to give out to the homeless veterans and to raise awareness for those in need. Please drop off blankets or any financial donations to room 224A by October 25th to Miss Ellerby's class. Attention students and teachers. On October 26th, after school, we will have the Fall Festival. Students are $3 and adults are 4 Please pick up permission slips. And from Mr. DeJesus in room 204. And now we take you back to Avery for the daily report. Hello, Avery. Good morning, guys. Today's lunch special is hard or soft tacos with a tortilla chip and black beans. The school uniform for Wednesday is on October 24th. It will be South Seminole skirts, shirt, skirt, khaki pants, or a or legging um, skirt. <laughs> a reminder to girls: No, you cannot wear leggings without them being under black khakis mid-thighs, shorts, or a skirt. Also, students, you can only wear jeans on Friday. There are no exceptions. Teachers should report any uniform issues to Mr. Motley. Remember, Red Women Week continues tomorrow. If you don't dress up with your crazy socks, you must be in uniform. That's all for now. Back to you guys. Thanks, Avery. Finally, today on Monday the 30th, there will be cross-country practice from 4 to 5 p.m. Please send Mr. Runcon to pick up your physical from room 240. That's all for today. Make sure you check us out on Instagram and YouTube at South Summer News. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, please like the South Summer Middle School and PTSA Facebook pages for more info. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Peter. And I'm Ryan. Have a great Tuesday. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to storm. storm.